Have you ever wondered how bridges are built across rivers? Or how docks are constructed in the water? The answer lies in a specialized technique called underwater concreting. This crucial process involves carefully placing fresh concrete underwater. Unlike pouring concrete on land, underwater construction presents unique challenges. Every step, from start to finish, demands meticulous planning, supervision, and special techniques. Imagine the foundation and support piles for a bridge across a river or the base of a massive dock. These structures often rely on underwater concreting for their strength and stability. The ultimate goal of underwater construction is to create a dry and water-free environment. This ensures the safe placement and proper curing of the concrete, leading to a strong and long-lasting structure. In this video, we'll delve into the fascinating world of underwater concrete construction. We'll explore the two key areas of expertise. Understanding underwater concrete. We'll discuss the properties and considerations for using concrete in an underwater environment. Mastering underwater concreting methods. We'll discover various techniques used to place and cure concrete underwater. Let's dive in. Underwater concreting is the process of placing concrete below the waterline. Despite the unique challenges it poses, concrete, when properly mixed and placed, is a durable material that can withstand the aquatic environment. So the key challenges and solutions while doing this is vibration and leveling. Special techniques and equipment are needed to ensure the concrete is properly vibrated and leveled underwater to prevent voids and weak spots. Washout. Anti-washout admixtures and careful placement techniques are employed to counteract the water's tendency to wash away the concrete. Now we move on to underwater concreting methods. Number one is Tremie method. A Tremie pipe is used to continuously deliver concrete to the underwater location, ensuring a smooth flow and preventing segregation. Two, grouting method. A cementitious material is injected into the soil or rock to improve its strength and stability. Three, bag method. Bags filled with sand or other materials are placed underwater to create structures or foundations. 4. Bucket placing. Concrete is transported in buckets and dumped underwater using cranes or other equipment. 5. Pre-placed aggregate method. Large rocks or other materials are placed first, and the gaps are then filled with concrete. 6. Pumping. Concrete is transported underwater through pipes using pumps. The material is pumped through a hose or pipe to the desired location, where it is then placed using a tremi pipe or other equipment. This method is commonly used for constructing underwater pipelines, foundations, and other structures. The selection of the underwater construction method depends on factors, such as the type of structure, water depth, equipment availability, and environmental considerations. Underwater concreting is a specialized field that requires careful planning and execution to ensure the success of the project. By understanding the challenges and available methods, engineers and contractors can successfully construct durable and reliable structures beneath the waterline. For more video on civil engineering and construction, follow Civil Engineering Fanatics.